extension takes advantage of new functionality in the Android M release, so it'll be rolling out in M. And I want to give you a quick preview of what it looks like, what it can do for you when you turn the feature on. So I have Neil up here with me, heart of the press demo. So you want to see it in action? Yes? All right, let's do it. So here he's listening to Skrillex, and you wonder, like me, what is his real name? Okay, Google. What's his real name? Skrillex's full name is Sunny John Moore. Who are you? Quick answer to quick question without having to switch context. Oh, and notice also he could say his real name. Now it's obvious to you and me who Neil is referring to, but thanks to the context of what you're looking at and the natural language understanding, it's obvious to now as well. But like I said, it's not just about understanding context, it's about bringing you answers proactively. So let's look at another example. So here, you see an email from my friend Ali about catching a movie. I don't know much about the movie, I want to find out more. So all I have to do is a simple tap and hold on the home button. Google now brings me information about Tomorrowland. Remember the knowledge graph, remember the knowledge graph we were talking about? Thanks to that, we know Tomorrowland is not just a string of characters, it's not just a word, it's a movie. A movie has reviews, ratings, actors, actresses, etc. Now, the reviews, they're kind of okay, but let's be honest, I know it does have George Clooney, so I'm going to watch it anyway. But, you know, you can easily watch the trailer on YouTube. You can check out the cast list on IMDb or the Rotten Tomatoes score on Flickster. I want to show you another example of how you can take action in the moment with Now on Tap. So this time, let's go to Viber. So by the way, Now on Tap works in a variety of apps. The app itself doesn't have to make any modifications. It's pretty nice. Um, so in this case, you see a message from my husband about dinner plans. Oh, and of course, he forgot to pick up dry cleaning, so it's on me. Again, with a simple tap and hold on the home button, you get help. But I want to point out a couple things going on here. So first, just like the movie, you saw nice information, instant information about the restaurant, reviews, ratings, even how to book a table. But check this. Google now created a smart reminder card for me to pick up that dry cleaning. Now, the user in me is pretty happy, but I have to say the computer scientist in me is practically giddy with excitement here because that's some like epic natural language understanding action going on here. It's pretty neat. So let's look at what happened here. So when you tap and hold on the home button, you're telling Google now, hey, here's something I need help with. Use this context. And Google now uses this context and brings you back relevant answers. But as you might have noticed, it's not just about answers, it's also apps. So what does it mean for developers? Yep, this is a new way that you can reach and re-engage with users when you're relevant to users in the moment once your app is indexed by Google. So while we are here, let's go tap on open table so you can see how you can jump in. And notice, we took you right to the specific restaurant in the app, you know, no fudging with the phone. And I want to show you a quick, subtle but cool thing while we're here. So let's switch to the menu. And that second dish there sounds good. Kind of hard to pronounce for me. And, um, but I want to see how it looks like. Okay, Google, show me pictures of Spaneco Tiropita. Pictures of Spanacata Rapida. Here you go. Neil also had pr trouble pronouncing it clearly, but thanks to the context of the words on the menu, Google now was able to recognize it and get me what I want. It's not just apps, though now can assist you in the moment, even when you're on the web. So for this last example, let's switch to Chrome. 
Okay, here's an article about Hugh Laurie heading to Weep, my favorite TV show. I know a lot about Weep, way more than I should really, but not a lot about Hugh. So yes, I can you know, fiddle with the phone, open a new tab, back at the keyboard, or I can tap on Hugh and I get information about Hugh Laurie. Pretty cool. I can check out movies and other TV shows he's been in. Oh, there's Tomorrowland again. I have to watch it. But the nice thing here is that you could get information instantly. In all these examples, with the article you're reading, the music you're listening to, the message you're replying to, the key is understanding the context of the moment. Once now has that understanding, it's able to get you quick answers to quick questions, help you get things done, wherever you are on the phone. And for developers, like we said, it's a new way for you to reach and re-engage with users. We'll share a lot more details over the next few months. That was just a quick preview of Google Now on Android M.